Yo yeah, guys, welcome back to Two Kings. It ended uh, Liverpool nil, Manchester United nil. And yeah, to be fair, as a United fan, I will take that point. I'm not gonna lie, I will take a point out of that game. We've been getting absolutely battered every time we really do go to Anfield recently. So look, I think it's a great result for Manchester United. I think it's a great result for us. And you know, like we we were very cautious going into that game, and I feel like we sat back well did the right things. We did have a few chances in that game. We were actually able to get in behind at times. Hoyland had a good chance later on in that um, second half. Anthony was making some all right runs. Then at times he started to slow the pace down a bit. Anthony had some good moments. Then he also had some shit moments as well. Um, Unana, he made he did make a few good saves. At the start he was looking sloppy Unana, but then eventually started to grow his way into the game a bit more. Um... Then, obviously, I also do think that, um, who played well? Um, I think Dallow had a decent game today, to be honest with you. I thought that, uh, but yeah, he did end up getting sent off in the end, Dallow. He did end up getting sent off. It was a bit, it was quite harsh, in my opinion. It, I think it was because he was uh, having a go at the referee. But, I mean, yeah, I feel like Dallow was on Salah really well. Um, and, you know, he, he, he was usually his strength well today, Dallow, winning the ball back in good positions, good on the ball. And, yeah, I, I think Dallow was really good today, in my opinion. Um, again, I think... Um, I, I thought Ganacho had some good moments as well. Uh, I just feel like at times Anthony was a bit selfish and at times Ganacho was a bit selfish. But, I mean, look, I feel like our defence played well today. Varane made some crucial tackles. Maynou was really good in the midfield. He was really, really, really good in the midfield. Winning the ball back in great areas. Really energetic all over the pitch today, Kobe Maynou. I thought he was really good. Probably... He was one of the best players on the pitch, to be honest with you, Kobe Maynou. We, and, like, we need him starting all the time. We need Kobe Maynou starting all the time, in my opinion. He's really, 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 really good. Um, and, you know, we, we seem a much better team when he's on the pitch, to be honest with you, Kobe Maynou. We seem a much better team. I thought Amrabat was really, really, was really sloppy today, to be honest with you. I thought Amrabat was really sloppy, especially in the first half. Second half, he kind of upped his game a bit, but he was fairly sloppy, though, Amrabat, for the whole, for the majority of the game. Um... McTominay was captain today. Uh, unbelievable stuff. Um, yeah, I can't believe it. Um, but yeah, McTominay, he, he was just bang average, really. He's not a Manchester United midfielder. He shouldn't be a Manchester United midfielder, in my opinion. Yes, he's got great work rates and all, and, you know, he, he's got great passion, but he shouldn't be playing in this Manchester United midfield week in, week out. I really don't think so. Um, but yeah, look, I'm taking the result. I, I will take a nil-nil draw. We didn't concede. We kept a clean sheet away at Anfield. So, and you know, Manchester United, we've been struggling there um, quite a bit ever since we went. Like, we got back to 7-0 last time. And, you know, we improved a lot def uh, 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 defensively. Evans was making some... Yeah, like, Evans was playing decent. I feel like all our defence was pretty good today. We didn't... Re we weren't letting Liverpool in behind... I thought Luke Shaw played quite well. But yeah, um, the the attack was, at, at times, when we had a counter-attack, Ganacho and Anthony kind of ended up slowing us down a bit. Hoyland was a bit slow getting up the pitch. Yeah, I just feel like, in a way, we played a bit like, you know, I feel like we played the right kind of game today, which was being cautious. But a lot of times in that game, it just seems like we, it just seemed like we were too cautious uh, a lot of times in that game, to be honest with you. But... Look, it's a, well, I'll take the result. It's a big, important result for us, uh, to be honest. We, we've got West Ham away next, which would be tough. Then we got Villa. Like, it's a tough run of games, but, you know, loads of people were counting us out today and we managed to get a point, which I think is really important. I think it's really important. And I think not conceding as well is a huge confidence boost to us. But, like, we did have chances today. We did have some good chances. We got... In behind once or twice, but yeah, get out to a decent chance. But yeah, I just feel like players at times were just a bit too selfish when we were attacking. Uh, to be honest with you, that's the thing. But you know, look, I can't complain with the result. I, I'm not complaining uh, with that result whatsoever. I'm happy with the result. I think it's a really important result for uh, the team. Uh, you know, for our confidence at Manchester United, we need confidence. Uh, you know, building into this team. But, like, to be fair, though, if you think about it, knowing us, we have a decent game against uh, the Scousers where we go in with some decent... Uh, when we go in with a decent game plan, stick to the strategy well. 
But then knowing us next game, we'll probably end up losing 2-0 to West Ham. It's just how it is at, uh, at Manchester United. We're so we're ridiculously unpredictable uh, at the moment. Like we are extreme. We are an extremely unpredictable team. You just never know what what's, what's going to happen with us. We're so ridiculously inconsistent. But yeah, fair play. I feel like we fought really hard for that draw today. Uh, and you know, passion was shown. We fought hard for it. But I feel like a lot of the players know though that yeah, Ten Hag's job was kind of on the line. So. It's like their way of thinking could have been, oh, yeah, that's, you know, play with real passion to make him keep his job. And then we could go on and play shit the next and lose the next game, though. That's the thing, because then we, we wouldn't be under as much pressure. We were under pressure coming into today, mostly just not to get battered. But no one was expecting anything from us. But, you know, if we lost today, it, we still would have had a lot to lose. So luckily, you know... Um, even though, you know, we, we were massive underdogs coming into this game. But I feel like if we lost, then it would have been really detrimental to us, though. 100%. So, you know, a draw, I think, is a fantastic result. And and hopefully we're going to... I mean, hopefully this does give us more confidence to go on. But I don't know if it, if it were. We're too unpredictable at Manchester United right now. But, yeah, we did see some decent performances today, especially defensively. Uh, Unana made some good saves. Shaw, Varane, Evans, Dallo, um, and uh, I think I said Evans. But yeah, our whole defense really good today, uh, in my opinion. But yeah, uh, good. Yeah, good stuff. Really happy with the result. To be fair, uh, I, you know, like to be fair though, one last thing. It does show how bad of a situation we are in right now in Manchester United. If we're happy drawing though, that's the thing. It shows how, you know, badly we've slipped if we're just happy with a draw against our biggest rivals, you know. Like, you know, this time last season, this time last year, we, you know, we really want to be winning this game. But, uh, like, 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 we'd really, you know, be, be gutted with a draw there. But as of now, we're, we're happy taking a draw. But, yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching the video, King. I'll speak to you in a bit. Thanks for watching. Peace out.